Alrighty, welcome back to another video. I'm Papa from Game Kieran. Today I'm playing some more Balloons Adventure on Tower Defense. So today we are doing another Two Towers Impossible. Today we are doing Hunter Marcelin. And we're also be going to be using Psy. So Hunter Marcelin and Psy. I think it's a pretty powerful combo. We're going to be doing it on Lock of the Phantoms, which isn't that bad of a map. But it's a fortified map, so it becomes a bad map. So we're going to see how well it goes. I'm really hoping we can beat this. These are some really powerful towers, but I don't know. I've seen Sai and Sam lose to a fortified Babylon on a long map, so I don't know if Hunter Marcelin beats out Sam with, like, Phoenix Wand and all that stuff, so we'll have to wait and see about that. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna quickly gonna go over the builds. Hunter Marcelin, we have the Silver Tip Stakes. I'm not gonna go over the stats. You can read them out yourself. We have the Heart Gauntlets. We have the Engineer's Blueprint. We have the Baker Shard, the Demon Heart, the Cosmic Gauntlets, if I can click info, Cosmic Gauntlets, and then finally we've got the War Horn, Warning Horn for a bit of support. So that's kind of nice, works with Psy as well. Then for Psy we have the Dragon Fangs, we got ourselves obviously his three basics, Mask of Shadows for his clone, the Robo Monkey Visor so he can pop DTs, and then the... Uh, Dagger of Shield Ice, so we can get his ice upgrade. Um, we have the Guga Meter. I'm using the Baker Shard once again. Heart Gauntlets once again. You know, the pretty regular ones. We got Cosmic Gauntlets, you know, again. And finally, we're gonna be using the Plasma Goggles, just because I feel like the Babylon's gonna be the worst part. I'd rather have that extra bit of a boost for that point. So, let's get into this. Hopefully, this is gonna go pretty well. And, yeah. First things first, do quickly want to say, if you're enjoying the videos, you don't have to do it necessarily right now, but don't forget, consider giving a like and subscribing to join the Purple Elephant Squad. It makes my day, it's super nice, and I really do appreciate it. Um, consider commenting if you have something to say, challenge ideas, all that stuff, I really appreciate it. Um, and also, there's if you want to become a member or find out more about it, there's a link in the description. Only works on computer, but yeah. So with that stuff out of the way, let's get into this challenge. So this is a little sad. I just realized that in the water there's those skulls. I've played this map so many times, I don't think I've ever seen that. Uh, these maps really are, like this set of maps is the ones that I find make the most sense in terms of like chron chronology, I guess. Chronologically, I don't know, like in terms of time order. Because this is like the entrance to the cave, you go in, and then you like take this weird turn in the second map, and then you're in the weird trap curse mirrors area for the third map. I think that's pretty cool. Uh, we're gonna drop Hunter Marcelin now. Yeah, that should be a fine path. <laughs> oh, this is not going well so far. Uh, I want to get Soul Sucking up pretty early on so she can try to get Camel and Let Pop in power before we need it. Um, but yeah, hopefully it's gonna go pretty well. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. I'm pretty confident in this. I, I think this combo should be able to win. That does not mean this combo will win. That simply means this combo should be able to win. It depends a little bit, because if you don't know how the map works, the Babaloon, or the balloons that come out make a full loop, I think they make a full loop, and then they stop off on their exit. So, theoretically speaking, you have a bit of time to do it. It's been a while since I played though, so I might be mixing things up. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. We're gonna give you just some basic upgrades. Uh, was Straight Path the one I wanted? No, it wasn't, Hunt Marcelin. You were getting sold, because that's just the wrong upgrade. Blood Rush. We want Circle Path, because this map is a circle, so obviously you want Circle Path. Circle Path. Circle Path. Let me buy it before I mess it up. Uh, come on. I don't want to have to sell her again. Just give me a little bit more money. There we go. Circle Path. That's a pretty tiny circle. I thought it would be bigger. Man, that kind of useless. Never mind. I'm going to stick with this, then. I guess it's not that helpful anyways. This is going pretty good. I don't know why I decided to upgrade Hunter Marcelin first, but I did. So we're gonna upgrade Hunter Marcelin first. A lot of redoubts are missing though, which I wasn't really expecting, and I'm making me a little bit nervous, but we'll see how well. Maybe it'll go well. I for I forgot the mistake upgrade. Oh, that's a big deal. That's a big upgrade. That's ricochets. Oh, that's really bad for area attack. Um you prob someone's probably already mentioned it to me. I'm not going to fix this. I'm not going to go out. I'm going to see how all this works. Because it won't be necessary for the bad balloon. Which is going to be our biggest issue anyways. Uh, that hurts a little bit. But she is piercing projectiles. So, theoretically, it shouldn't matter too much. 
I don't think. If you don't know what this does, it makes stakes ricochet nearby balloons on hit, which is really good. But they still have homing properties regardless. So I think we should be okay. And honestly, that 20% attack speed buff at both towers is pretty good as well. So, mm, I'm going to keep going with it. I feel like this is going to be better off. I honestly do. As terms of straight up bad balloon damage, this will do better. And I think that's all that really matters is going to be the bad balloon. I'm gonna hope so. <laughs> oh, this music's so calming that this map is like, Hi, you're walking to your doom. I'm not super confident. Not to mention, uh, Hunter Marsland's, like, smoke bombs release toxic clouds of that, like, skeleton skull face thing. So I don't really like that either. I don't like any of this. <laughs> oh, I can't believe I messed that up. That sucks. Honestly, looking back at it, it was probably a mistake, but I don't know how much of a mistake it is. Because it's worse, it would have been worse single target damage. It's better area to get that trinket. Um, but I don't think area damage or like multi balloon damage is going to be that big of a deal. Especially since Psy is probably the best for that anyways. Uh, we will be able to sell and rebuy Psy if necessary. We're going to have a fair bit of extra money by the end. So hopefully, 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 hopefully things will go pretty well. If they don't, then well, that'll suck. I'm really hoping we can win this. It's been a while since we won a two-town pop bowl. And it's because I'm trying to do one on harder maps that I haven't beaten before, or that I have a Bloom Beacon or something for, to get a better, I guess, reward for it. Um, but, you know, the maps I haven't beaten yet are usually a bit harder because it means they don't fit too many challenges. Which basically means I think they're too difficult for the challenges. So, you know, harder. <laughs> uh, I think this should be able to go well. Like, this is a strong combo. But I thought the exact same thing about Psy and Sam, so it's freaking me out now. Did I'm gonna make the same mistake again? Am I making the Psy same mistake? Maybe, I don't know. Like, look at that. Fortified mobs, normal mobs, they die really quickly. I guess the ZMG, the ZMG, especially if it's a fortified ZMG, will be a decent test. With luck, we'll be able to pop the DT or the ZMG before exit size range without abilities. If we can do that, we're in a good situation, but that's a little bit tight. That's not a big radius. Especially if it turns left, so, you know, I mean, we'll see how well it goes. Oh, uh, I'm not super confident about this, but this, this should be okay. It should be okay. Yeah, should be okay. <laughs> this map could be much cooler. I don't know if this is just me, but I feel like it would be better if the balloons came out of all three, like, paths through the water, then did one circle, and then exited. I feel like that would be better. Because I'm pretty sure regardless, it's not the same length for each balloon, depending on which path they take. Which I guess is fine, some paths are just inevitably going to be shorter or longer than others, which is okay. But that still makes me a little nervous. We haven't even seen the BFB. We're going to see the BFB in two rounds, then only eight rounds later will be the ZMG. We'll be okay. We'll be okay. We'll be okay. Maybe. Oh, we'll see how well this goes. I'm not super confident in this. Was there- did the BFB already come out? No, right? I, I didn't miss it, right? The BFB does come out around 52, right? Sorry, I, like, looked over to, I don't know, like, I sat up for a second, and I turned my, I turned my vision for, like, a millisecond, and I missed the BFB. Oh, right, here's a fortified BFB. It dies. It was turning left, and it still died before it ran out of size range, and that was a fortified BFB. That's pretty good. I mean, fortified BFBs don't have anywhere near the health of a bad balloon, especially not fortified bad balloon. But, I mean... <laughs> We should be doing at least, like, pretty much double damage with all of these abilities. So, I think we should be pretty good. Oh, this is so tense me. It's so, it's not tense, well, I don't know. Is it tense for you guys watching these? Like, watching the challenges and being like, no, he's not gonna, he's not gonna do this. I got a funny comment on, I guess it would be two days ago videos, but for me, it's the video that I uploaded the day I'm recording this. Or the day before I'm recording this, I guess. It was a couple days ago, basically. Um, the one tower no upgrades challenge with Super Monkey, and I love it. So, we did a pretty good video. I had a lot of fun with it. We did not win. We did not do a very good job. Um, also, this is the ZMG. I'm gonna try once again to go with no effects. The difference is, yeah, the Soul Steel. The fact that we have the Soul Steel is a big deal, but that still worked pretty well considering that was no abilities. I'm a little nervous how long the map is. But anyways, back to that video. Someone left a comment, like, the next day saying, which is basically today, saying... Um, well, today for me. Anyway, it's not important. They said, like, no way. The first thing they commented likely before they watched the video was, no way, you're gonna lose. And I find that very funny. They were totally right. I'm like, oh no, this will be easy. 
was not easy. It did not go well. I mean, it was fun, but it did not go well. Um, yeah, you had clearly a better insight than I did, but that that's okay. <laughs> oh, it's gonna go pretty well. I'm, I'm hopeful for this map. I feel like we can do this. These towers are strong. It's just there's a bit of nervousness to it. Hunter Marshland, by the way, is half the pops that Psy does. I think the thing is, I think they actually have similar damage count went for it. It's just, like, one of her, like, 12 darts that she shoots out is actually hitting a balloon, which makes it a little bit harder for her to do, you know, half decent damage. Another fortified DMG, another chance. It's the soil steel, though. We won't have the advantage for the bad balloon. So the bad balloon will probably be moving at, like, the exact same speed as this EMG, which... I mean, a ZMG level health, a fortified ZMG level health is not nearly that good. The one thing I did notice there, though, was that the ZMG died pretty much at the same place that the fortified ZMG did. Which, either, which probably suggests that the second Marsling gets involved, it doesn't really matter in terms of damage. That did not do well. That fortified DT made it far. I don't know what happened there. Maybe Psy, like, missed his chance or whatever. I assume at this point Marsling stolen the soul of a camo balloon by now, but I guess I don't really know. I assume so. <laughs> That's like the massive advantage of a level 7 ability, is you get that confirmation that like, oh, I need camera protection, steal the soul. I need lead popping power, activate the ability. Beyond that, I don't think the ability is that useful. If you don't know, Hunter Marsland's level 7 ability is to steal the soul of all balloons on screen. It's not a bad ability, it's just not that useful more often than not. I am going to turn off Otter Scout now though, because we need, we need to wait. We need to wait to see how this goes. It's been a fast video, which is kind of good. I don't have a ton of time right now, so that's nice. Um, but yeah, I'm surprised. This hasn't taken us very long at all. I mean, I guess we're right at the entrance, so that makes sense. But at the same time, it's kind of crazy. Going pretty well. This round 73, this is normally the hardest round of the game. We're doing pretty well. Yeah, like that worked pretty well. Okay, at the very least, we did a pretty good job making it to the bad balloon. If nothing else, making it to the bad balloon was pretty easy. I'm going to have all these abilities for round 75. I'm gonna try to do it in once, so I have to be prepared to sell and rebuy Psy. Because I want to make sure I have that plasma vision ability, which I will not have if I have to resort to continue. Not to mention, I don't even know if I have enough coins to use a continue, so that would be an issue as well. Okay, so, am I prepared? Can I, I'm, can I just say something quickly before I press play? What are the odds that they troll me and it's a normal bad balloon and I'm just like, oh, never mind. <laughs> It's, it's sad, but there's a decent part of me that's like, oh, please be that the case. Please have that be the case. Just give me the normal bad balloon. Make this easy. Oh, I'm so scared. Let's just quickly take a look at the pop count. We have 490,000. Basically 500,000 pops total. That's a lot of pops. Fortified adds like 100-something thousand, and that's before the bad balloon. That's, that's a little nutty. I'm putting this off. I know I'm putting this off. I'm, I'm really nervous. I don't know why I'm so nervous. If we lose, it's not that big of a deal. It's just... Okay, it's a- it's a normal bad balloon. <laughs> I can't believe that happened! I was like, oh yeah, oh, what if they troll me and it's a normal bad balloon? If we still lose, I'm gonna be so mad though, like, you bet that much. We're not doing well. Okay, I'm really glad it's a normal bad balloon, because this is doing just not a good job. <laughs> I mean, like, the bad balloon's almost dead, but it's not doing that great of a job. Sigh, sell, rebuy, get in a better position for the end. Bye, bye, faster. Balloon Jitsu, there we go. It's doing okay. The bad balloon's not even on its final damage phase yet, though, which is scary. Okay, final damage phase. Please tell me it loops. Please, please tell me it loops. I'm prepared to press this sabotage the second I see it pop. Second I see it pop. Sabotage mode activated. The DTs are dead. Down to the ZMGs. If this was a fortified bad balloon, there was no way we would have won this. I don't know if it's odd. So one thing, I, I used to think, I remember this, I used to believe that it was a 100% chance to be Fortified Bad Balloon if it was a Fortified map. I don't know if that's not true, or if it's not chance at all, and some maps are just Fortified and some aren't. I'm not sure. Attack speed buff, Sabo, we got this. Oh, I'm so glad. I talk about that again, I'm like, oh, I'm gonna say this, but there was absolutely a 0% chance this is happening. That went so perfectly. Like, so perfectly. I can't believe that happened. That actually worked. How many t Okay, comment this below. How many times... How many attempts has it been since we actually had a successful 2,000 possible? I feel like it's been like four failures at this point. I appreciate that. We also ranked up to 73 finally. That took a while. 
You know, that happens when you lose 90% of your challenges, and that's 90% of what you do. One medal closer! We only got one more to do until we get the um, uh, Diamond Adventure Quest medal for this map, which is nice. I got three quests to do, so that's awesome. It'll be four eventually, so lots of quest rewards to collect, so that's pretty great. Um, but yeah, thank you all for watching. Hopefully you guys did, did enjoy. Feel free to leave a comment if you have any- if you want to give a suggestion for the next two towers, um, well, for the next two towers impoppable, because I don't really care. I came up with this one. I didn't do a poll this time. I've done some polls in the past. I might just make another poll. We'll see. Or I'll just do whatever one I want. This one was fun. I felt like it makes sense. Kind of like the d two Dark Masters. You, I know I called Max the Dark Master at one point. Let's face it. He's not. It's Sai and, like, either Sai and Commander Cassie or Sai and Hunter Marcelin. They're the ones that throw tons of darts and homing darts and all that awesome stuff. So I think that's pretty cool. Uh, hey, one game of Haunted Swamp. That could have actually happened. I'm just picking these challenges off. They're like, hey... Well, maybe it'll happen. Fortified or Princess Bubblegum? I'm gonna go Fortified. It's more likely we'll just pick a Fortified map and that'll be it. And then we get to do our open three wish orbs. I'm gonna just end off after that. I wanna see what we get from the quest, and I'm sure you guys will too. Um, but yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed. I guess I'll give the reminder now. In case you haven't done it yet, you didn't take my warning at the start, you should, you should still like the video and subscribe, because that's awesome. Uh, it's a little tight, but it's still possible to make it to 1,500 subs before the end of... Um, September. If you can do that, that would be nutty. That would be great. So, yeah, keep up the good work. It's been an awesome month. Appreciate all the new viewers. I know there are a lot of you. Um, so, you know, since there are a lot of new viewers, that means there's a lot of you that don't subscribe. So, you should do that. I know I already said that, but I'll say it again. Um, but yeah, thank you all for watching. Have a wonderful day. I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye!